I'm fairly certain that Ellie is the world's happiest baby whenever she wakes up in the morning. This is literally my favorite moment, typically, of every day. Hi. Hi, good morning. Ellie, are you ready for Italy? Let's go. We've been spending time in Texas ever since Ellie was born, and today we are headed to Italy, where we're gonna be meeting up with our good friends, John and Peter from the RV Geeks, and spend an entire month RVing across Italy. Yes, we will. I can't believe that. <laughs> and I'm so excited, but first I'm gonna go get Alyssa some coffee because we're all out of decaf, so. That is happening right now. Literally just cooked whatever was left in the fridge before we left. Could have done without the broccoli for breakfast. Hold on, the diaper rash cream fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty point four. Crap. Point four pounds. We got to get out of there. All right, babe. You can't bring makeup. Makeup bag. What are we taking? This is the world's biggest. Suitcase, I'm gonna like break my back. I shouldn't let this. I'm carrying that um, one. We've got Ellie's baby bed in here because there's gonna be way too many bags to carry if we tried to carry it with us. We're gonna take Ellie's car seat, but not the actual stroller because we're starting off in Venice, which is a bunch of bridges and steps, and carrying a stroller over bridges seems way miserable. Then we've got camera bag and this giant bag that the car seat is going to go in that is also filled with extra diapers and wipes and the things that we couldn't fit in our suitcase because that's where Ellie's bed is. And we've got a diaper bag and all together we look ridiculous carrying all of these bags on ourselves. Plus, I've got my handy dandy baby carrier. So I'll be wearing Ellie. We went back and forth on whether or not we wanted to bring a car seat, but after researching, we decided to bring a car seat for a couple reasons. One, there are no cars in Venice, obviously, so we couldn't buy one in Venice, and since we're renting a camper van, the company we're renting from did not have any rear-facing car seats. So we decided better than trying to like go out and find one and rush to find one, since we're gonna be there for a month, it just made sense to bring our own. So it's gonna mean extra luggage today, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and put it on so that okay. we don't have to carry it. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> We're gonna have to take her out to go through security, but that's okay. Check in back. <laughs> we got our bags checked, boarding passes in hand, baby half awake now. But <laughs> We're ready to go through security. Play. The really big status update was deciding whether or not we could get a seat with a bassinet. And she switched some other people around and we got one. So now the nine hour flight to Paris, we will have a bassinet for her to sleep in. Thank you, Air France. <laughs> not Ellie. <laughs> so we have two carry-on bags and then we're just gonna take her car seat with us and just kind of hold it and then we'll check it at the gate uh, Because it gives her a place to, like sit and chill while we wait for our flight, which is Not for another two and a half hours. I Love you. Our vlogs are just gonna be this So leading up to this flight I have been a little bit nervous just because she's four months old and we're going on a nine-hour flight So I can't exactly pinpoint where the nerves are coming from I don't know if I'm just nervous that she's gonna cry the whole time or just that we're being irresponsible parents or whatever But she's been doing really really good. So I think it's kind of a little bit of an irrational fear I'm hoping yeah, but so far Having a baby while flying is not much harder. We just have a little bit extra baggage because we're carrying an extra human with us Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Boarding early. Thank you, Ellie. 23A. Thank you. This is where we're going to be flying. Lots of good room. So much living room. <laughs> we are going to lounge, right, Ellie? You want to watch a movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Should have had a baby a long time ago. 
So these will be like where our little bassinet goes. They did also give us a baby seat belt. Now we have about nine hour flight to Paris. Oh, there's a yacht. <laughs> We're ready for nap time. <laughs> Daytime here in like 1 a.m. our time, so yeah. Ellie did really good on the flight, except for whenever we landed, she got insanely she was excited. She so excited to be here, like legitimately excited. She was just screaming. <laughs> it was cute. I'm sure everyone else probably cute didn't think it. Yeah, it was cute to us. <laughs> All right, we should go. Yeah. <laughs> Made it to our day just with enough time to give Ellie a diaper change and feed her. Now we just hopped on this bus, which I'm assuming is going to take us to our gate. They scan our passports and boarding passes, and everyone was walking outside, so we just followed. <laughs> whatever adrenaline we were feeling whenever we landed is pretty much gone now. I just, it, it hit me that we uh, that we haven't went to sleep tonight. So we have an hour and a half flight to Venice and we're gonna meet up with our friends John and Peter and hopefully we can get at least like a 20 minute nap on the plane. Yeah. Thank you for staying with our friends and I wish you a very pleasant day, a very nice day in Venice. Look who I found. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. So we made it to Venice. We got on a water taxi. It took all of two minutes because Peter jumped out and hailed one. And now we're going to our Airbnb. I cannot believe we're here. Via water taxi. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so cool. Ellie's first boat ride too, by the way. Yeah. Supposedly, this is the best way to enter Venice. Yeah. Wow. We're about to go under our first bridge. Oh my god. One oh of many bridges. He told us to duck. <laughs> and he it's wasn't so kidding. Short. So we're coming up to the Grand Canal. <laughs> we just went under that. And where are we at? That's us. That's our building right there. <laughs> We got to our Airbnb. We made it to Venice and luckily they already had a baby bed already set up in one of the rooms. So Alyssa literally just walked in, set Ellie down, and I just went in there and she's already asleep. She's the best <laughs> human. I honestly don't expect every single travel day to obviously go like this, but I can say that 
a lot of the fears that I had about traveling with a four month old baby did not happen today. There was no blowouts on the plane. There was no screaming, you know, like in there was the- There no screaming on the plane. Yeah, so. In the airport, whenever we woke her up to put her yeah, she wasn't in the happy. body carrier, she was pretty pissed. Yeah, so we've been up all night. I mean, that's very common, but we just got to our Airbnb. It's amazing, but we're exhausted, so we're gonna crash out and take a nap before we go do anything else. In Italy, it's not common to drink uh, cappuccinos afternoon, but you guys got cappuccinos and I got espresso. So I'm basically more Italian than all of you. Of all the things that we're gonna do in Italy, what are you most excited about? Gelato, 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 lato, lato. You're lactose intolerant. I'm not lactose intolerant, she is. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> and we decided to just go ahead. She's so cute. When she looks at me and she's like smiling, I instantly lose track of everything that I'm saying. 